Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a small review of the new Sight Fuma 2. A brand new air cooling that Sight that just gave me. You guys know me, I really like my hair cooler. So I'm really excited for this one. A couple of features that they have that uh, a lot of different competitors don't uh, do. So let's start with the spec. First of all, it comes with two fans with 120 millimeter. Uh, one is thicker than the other one, I will show you uh, later why. After that, the fans are very silent with a few uh, fluid dynamic bearing. So I was really impressed with the previous model that I tested, the Ninja 5. The, the model was really um, quiet when I was running it. Uh, this one, you can go at 1300 RPM with the fan, so a lot faster than the Ninja 5. Uh, also, what can I say? It's an asymmetrical, asymmetrical sorry for my pardon my French design. So it allows you to to see your RAM in front of it, and also if you have like depending on the placement and depending on the motherboard that you're using, you have space over there for the RAM also. Uh, what can I say about the the fans itself? The slimmer one is spinning in the standard counter clockwise and the other one is spinning in clockwise direction so they're telling that uh, it's creating more static pressure on the radiator itself so technically uh, it should perform better than other air cooler because of that we're gonna test it for sure um, and now i can talk about like design wise it's really it looks nice honestly as you can see here a nice black finish this is the part that i was telling you about with the RAM so really nice product honestly I'm really impressed the Ninja one was really good too and I if I show you the fan we'll compare them so as you can see the thicker one the smaller one you can place them whatever you want on your radiator so honestly really nice product also really important they give you thermal paste some product you don't have it so you need to buy it Pretty important so you're getting the side thermal paste cool thing the y adapter and everything else is over there for the compatibility honestly no problem with that you have a lot of different compatibility with intel so uh, whatever 1366 uh 2011 2060 etc for amd same thing amd2 amd3 amd4 even fm1 and fm2 so no issue with that um so yeah, we're gonna put this thing in my case uh, and I will show you a lot of different benchmarks that I did. Really important thing that I need to say, I'll, I already tested it on the, another case and it's very easy to install. This one is smaller, you have a lot of space and clearance with your RAM, so no issue with that. Uh, if I compare with my D15 Noctua that I struggle a lot when I put it first time in my case, this one, honestly, it's really nice. And with the slimmer fan also, you get a lot of space to work. So now let's go to the benchmark. So now let's talk about numbers. Uh, first of all, uh, for this benchmark, I will use a Ryzen 2700X. Why I'm using an AMD processor? Uh, I really like the way AMD is handling the boost clock with XFR and PBO. Uh, the algorithm depends a lot from your uh, air cooler, so you need a good temp if you want nice boost clock. And also, I want to show you guys not just some degrees. I will. Sh I, I want to show you what's the difference when you use a better air cooler than the stock one. So, what are the performance? How much FPS you will have more if you compare both? So that's pretty much it. So in this uh, benchmark, I will compare stock versus Noctua D15. Pretty much the best air cooler in the market and the new Sight Fuma 2. Uh, let's start. Cinebench. First of all, the first benchmark. As you can see, the Fuma 2 is all, almost on par with the Noctua D15. So pretty good score over there. Pretty much the same thing with the Time Spy CPU score. And if you look at the Fire Cry 5 benchmark and Final Fantasy benchmark, they almost on par. So really impressive for the cooler. After that, uh, XFR 2 plus PBO, if you look at uh, the clock, so as you can see, if you compare some benchmark, the stock versus the Fuma 2, uh, as you can see, you have a nice boost on your clock. So th th those clock are all on you, all your cores. So for example, you have 4,025 uh, megahertz 
on Cinebench, it will be on your 8 core. So it's it's a huge difference because if you compare the stock one, it's 100 megahertz less than the, the Fuma 2. So that's a pretty, <laughs> it's a good chunk and it will uh, affect your benchmark for sure and your games. So if you look at degrees now, uh, as you can see, Fuma 2 is all, almost on par again with the D15. Really impressive score. Uh, I'm really impressed with the, 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 the cooler, honestly, because the D15 is a huge cooler and uh, a lot of issue with the compatibility with your RAM. And those, those kind of problems you don't have with the Fuma, but still, you still get some really good performance for your air cooling. After that, video games, really important. I chose Call of Duty Blackout 4, Battlefield 5, and Idle Mode without touching anything. And uh, as you can see, you're getting a nice boost uh, when you use the Fuma 2 versus the stock. And again, almost on par with the D15. If you look at the Celsius, a little bit more degrees on the Fuma if you compare it to the Noctua, but not really bad, honestly, it's like two and one degrees. And uh, a really nice uh, difference if you compare with the stock one. So that's about it for the benchmark, guys. Honestly, I'm really impressed. It's $99 in Canada, so Canadian dollars, so probably less in the United States. Uh, you're getting good performance, really easy to install. Uh, I had a lot of issue with my Noxua D15 because uh, my uh, RAM was too big. The height of the, the RAM was too high. So uh, a lot of dish issue with that. This one, really cool. And also, if you have RGB RAM, you will see your RAM with this air cooler. So you're getting nice performance, nice build quality. And also I, I read a, a little bit on the web about like fiability. Is it like, uh, like because I didn't really know the brand and nobody have any issue with it. All the fans and stuff like that, everything is working well. So really impressed with the product. I, I recommend it for sure. Uh, and if you have currently a stock cooler with an AMD or even but not Intel, if, I think if you have the K version, you don't even have like a, a fan. I really recommend this one. Uh, honestly, it's re reliable, very good, and you will have a nice boost in your performance. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question about air cooler or even water cooler, I, I install a lot of different brands. Just uh, ask me in the YouTube comment section. I will help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.